Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to set up my bullet journal for January and I decided on a cozy reading slash books theme as you can see. For my cover page I started out by lettering the word January in the middle of the page and then adding these hanging slash flying bookshelves all around at the top. And at the bottom of the page I decided to draw a little cozy reading nook with fluffy pillows to match the whole cozy vibe. And of course I filled all the shelves and the parts of the nook that are also shelves with lots of books. And then I also went in with some fairy lights at the top. For my color scheme I went with this brown Tombow dual brush pen and also a violet one. And then sometimes while coloring in I used my violet marker in multiple layers so it would look like I actually had two different shades of violet. For my quote page I went with this quote from Cornelia Funke from Inkhardt. Uh, she's a German author and this is her most famous book, maybe you've heard of it. Um, it's essentially a book about books, so it obviously has a lot of great quotes that fit this setup and I chose this one. It's a good idea to have your own books with you in a strange place. And I just decorated it with these four books at a top angle. Moving on to my calendar spread, I started off as usual with the title January and then started making my grid for the calendar and for the little top bar where I put my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on, uh, I actually made that look like it was a bookshelf in itself and of course added lots more books and little teacups and the pillows all over the page to decorate. These next two spreads are my budget tracker and my meal planner and usually I do these on a separate page each but I wanted to do it a little different this time and just did them together on a double page spread. For my budget tracker I always do four boxes for different types of spending and for my meal planner I also do four boxes, one for each week of the month and then I divided them up into the days of the weeks so I can plan what I'm going to eat or cook on each specific day. And this also makes food shopping a lot easier. For decoration I drew these two large bookshelves at the sides of the spread and just filled it with a lot more books.
Next up is my mood tracker and also my gratitude log. And for my gratitude log I started off by writing out all the little numbers and then starting on my decoration on the right side of the page. And for this I actually didn't draw any bookshelves, I just stacked my books on top of each other like that. And then for my mood tracker I added my blankets and pillows and teacups and a bunch of books all over the page and then to track my mood I will color in a book each day with the corresponding color. When I do my mood trackers I always like to include some elements in the spread that are not going to be for my mood tracking so I can color them in while I'm doing the setup because that's just more aesthetically pleasing and because I'm a bit lazy and I don't like using rulers I just use my marker to make the lines for the gratitude log to divide up all the days. Moving on to my habit tracker and my content planner. I basically just made another calendar spread but this time I'm only going to put in my content schedule for Instagram and YouTube um, but essentially it's just another grid. And I also decorated it pretty much exactly like my calendar page with the top bar for the weekdays also being a bookshelf. And then for my habit tracker I chose a slightly different layout because I'm doing my books open and not from a front angle but from a top angle. And inside the books I have my little mini calendars to track my habits. I have four habits that I want to track this month and I just wrote them out above my little calendars and then all around the habit books I put some more, this time closed books and also some more of my mugs and of course the fairy lights. Next up is my note slash brain dump spread and I have to say I decorated this quite heavily so I hope I have enough space in the middle for all my to-do lists and notes I might have this month. But for decoration I added two more shelves next to my title filled with books of course and then I created this little reading bench at the bottom of the spread uh, with lots more blankets and pillows and books of course. Moving on to my final spread, it's of course my first weekly spread for January and I decided to go with a Dutch door spread to fit more than one week into one spread because I'm gonna have quite a busy few weeks in January and I didn't want to have to make another weekly spread so soon. I added a little bookshelf with some books on top for each day and I actually put my days of the week inside the bookshelves and then my numbers for the days inside little black circles I did inside of the books. 
And then I also added a space for notes, of course, because I always like to have that in my weekly spreads. And also this little overview of the two weeks for any events I might have. Alright, let's move on to the final flip through of my January setup. I really enjoy how it turned out, I hope you do too, I hope you enjoyed watching the video, watching me set up my new bullet journal. I think this is the perfect theme for me to start the new year because one of my goals is to read a lot more in 2021 and I also really like the calming and muted colour scheme I have going on, so I really enjoy how everything came out. If you did too and you enjoyed watching this video, leave a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!